Good evening, Stitched Together friends, and welcome to Hana Christmas Vlogmas. I'm really excited that you're here to celebrate these eight days of fiber arts with me. As you may know, these videos are starting on the first night of Hanukkah and continuing throughout all eight days of that celebration. This year, the night where you light all eight candles happens on the day of Christmas. So in my house, we celebrate both holidays. We've got dual decorations going on in my home. And I thought it'd be a fun way to share some fiber art projects with you as we go through eight days of lighting candles, metaphorical candles together, and then talking a little bit about spinning, knitting, and, and weaving and all the fun that is the fiber arts. And I want to do a small giveaway at the end of these eight days too. I recently finished these hand-woven dishcloths. Maybe you caught my video about that where I talk about the process of making them. And I've got five of them here. And although some of them are gifts, I also want one of them to be a gift to one of you. So how to get into that giveaway would be to leave a comment down below and you know, say something, say hi, tell me about your, your fiber arts crafting, but also tell me that, you know, yes, you'd like to be in the giveaway. And at the end of the eight days, I will compile the names and pick someone randomly to receive one of these fun and festive holiday hand towels. They're really nice and smooshy and they're made of cotton and they can go in the washing machine and they don't bleed, which is amazing in and of itself, perhaps, because this red is really vibrant. So anyway, yes, if, if you think you might want a dish towel, leave a comment, say hello, tell me you're interested in the giveaway. And I look forward to getting to know you over the course of these next eight days. Finally, um, every night I will be doing a little fiber arts related blessing um, with these nice wooden candles from this old toy of my children's. It's not at all traditional Hanukkah blessing at all, but maybe a way of having some fun with the idea of bringing some light to the season and connecting it to this passion for the fiber arts that we share. So with that, I will, I will offer tonight's blessing and then move on to tonight's project. It's great to have you here. Our blessing for tonight, for the third evening of Hanukkah Christmas Vlogmas is May your warp floats be fixed, or perhaps may they not bother you. Let's head on over to the loom where I've got a project that I'm hoping to finish up tonight. Okay, so today for Hanu Christmas Vlogmas, I am finishing up a weaving project. And I've actually had this project going on my, my small loom which is the sample it from Ashford. This is the sample it from Ashford. And you know, I, I have a stand for it, but I find that sometimes it's easier just to sit at a table. And I have, oh look, apparently I am starting a new shuttle because it's not connected. I have about 44 inches here. So I'm going to see if that works as a good length for a cowl. This is a project I had hoped would be a bit of an instant gratification weave. I thought that this was more of a bulky yarn, and so I used the 5 dent reed, and I um, should have used the 7.5 dent because it's ending up kind of more weft dominant than I had hoped. <coughs> Since I'm weaving with hands on, it's still really cool. You can see the kind of the variations in the warp here. And in this 
spirit of my vlogmas finishing. I'm going to see if I can get this done. Um, Forest Nights on a Crystal Flopus. I think one of the reasons I decided to use this one up against the table is because it's actually like pushing against the table really makes it feel secure in a way and on the stand it's like a little bit flopping around on, on, on my stand for the sample it so that wasn't so fun but this feels like it's going more quickly with the table to help hold it in place Another thing that I like about putting it on my lap actually is I can just kind of put the shuttle here and it doesn't fall down. It just kind of rests there while I while I beat. I'm at 46 inches and you know, I was going for about Maybe 45, actually, so I think I have just, um, one, two. yeah, I have just about enough here to do the hem stitch, so we're going to go get my darning needle and call it done. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my tapestry needle, kind of with the, the slightly, slightly pointy end, curved end, and we're going to get this going for a bit of hem stitching. I like to do it with four over and two up, and I'm still not managing to get catch the, the ones I want. Lordy. Stitched. So now I just need some scissors. And also take off my tape measure. Okay, it's 46 inches now. It's interesting to see how long it is when it comes off of the tension of the loom. Fun texture. So we were wondering what the length was. We were wondering what the length was, and okay. Turns out. Yeah, so now it's about 45 inches long. You know, the tape measure is turned over there. It's about 45 inches long, so it's lost about an inch when the tension, um, when taken off the loom. So we'll just take off the papers. This one I did tie on rather than lash on. So we're just gonna have to find my find my ends here. Okay, well, 
do you know a faster way to untie things? I don't. Um, as you can see, we have here a lovely piece of woven goods. And it's a little bit, um, a bit short for a scarf. Um, I am wondering... I'm wondering if it would work to make some kind of cowl. For now, I've got to go get this uh, the header taken out and put this in a bath so that it can come to its final um, cloth-like form. Thanks for joining me for the third night of Hana Christmas Vlogmas at Stitch Together Fiber Arts. Oh, chill with your little one. Mm. I'm Emily, and this is Tina, and um, I hope you'll join tomorrow for the next night of Hana Christmas Vlogmas. If you have enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget that we're going to have a giveaway drawing for a um, holiday hand towel at the end of our eight nights, which will end on Christmas Day. So keep an eye out for that. To join, leave a comment down below and let me know that you're interested. And I hope you're having a wonderful, warm holiday season. Maybe we should snuggle from your favorite furry companions with the big furry bellies. Oh my gosh. Tina, you are so tolerant.